scientists across uh, the world have been trying to take a look at. So far there have been publications uh, regarding the source of sargasm. Normally it will come from the Sargasso Sea in the northern Atlantic, but some scientists are now saying, I was in Mexico up to last week, and they're now saying that it appears that there's a new source of the sargasm which is different from the usual northern Atlantic sargasso sea source um, and it appears that it may be coming from the southern Atlantic in the area associated with the Amazon River and the Congo River um, on the, the South American and the African side respectively uh, possibly fueled by nutrients etc. But I, I personally have my reservations. Um, if it, in truth and in fact, it's coming from a new source. The question that remains to be answered is really what change has occurred that is so significant wherever that source is that is not resulting in what you're seeing behind me. You know, that did not occur prior to 2011. What has changed? So while people are speculating as to the new source, no one can definitively say this is what has occurred in this area um, since 2011 that is fueling it. However, um, the question has also been asked, can you predict when it will make landfall onto our shores or onto the shores of any of the other islands in the Eastern Caribbean? And the, my answer to that thus far is that for since to, to, in recent times um, sargasm has been tracked by some scientists via satellite they call it remote sensing so once they can track it in real time from wherever it is coming from that can be a tool potentially be a tool to say okay you have a massive plume or raft of sargasm camp coming your way but until we can can tap into that you see the whole uh, meteorological services can use this satellite uh, technology to track storms and so on and so forth um, maybe sometime in the future if this problem persists you will have to, to, to make formal arrangements um, and who that responsibility will lie with be it the same met services who already has um, and it rolls into using that for terms where weather is concerned. I don't know if I can answer that question at this point in time. But just to say that uh, satellite technology is being used in some circles to track and study the movements of sargassum. In the aspect of fisheries as well, it's bad for two reasons. One, we know that from reports in the media, uh, with the vessels, the engines, etc., it has been a problem. But two, and I think most importantly, um, it has been reported. I remember there was a year, a couple of years ago, one fisherman reported he caught over a thousand dolphins. And he only stopped because his boat couldn't hold anymore. And when you, you examine the dolphins, they were juveniles. So that speaks to an unsustainable practice in fishery where you're actually over harvesting at the juvenile stage. So those juveniles are not being afforded an opportunity to reproduce and hence um, ensure that the population um, structure and size persists into the future. Okay? So if, if within a fisheries context, fishermen are over harvesting schools of fish that are associated with floating sargasm, uh, rafts, it means then that we may have a problem with our fishery, something done. I think that at this point, we need to find more positive ways of using or dealing with this sargasm.